the challenge often is to try to understand something. Uh, and it can be something that, of course, already exists. Or, you know, somebody has understood it before. Or you're trying to prove something that hasn't uh, been done before. Uh, letter is, of course, more challenging generally, uh, but also uh, when you do get some insights, it's a, it's a wonderful thing. I have to admit, you know, when I do get these insights, I do, I do feel very happy and I dare not to look at it very carefully just in case the proof evaporates. Uh, but uh, then you have to come back and, of course, you have to face potential flaws in your uh, argument. Uh, that can be hard. But, you know, if it sustains and if it comes through, it, it is a really uh, wonderful thing. My own experience has been that uh, sometimes just trying out uh, to think um, on your own. Uh, you know, you take objects that are coming up, maybe other people have thought about that of interest, but then apply your own methods and your own um, ideas around it even if it sounds a little bit strange at it. Um, it's often a very good way to really grasp uh, um, the, this object that you're trying to understand because you know the tools, you apply, you have an, some angle uh, on this uh, sort of problem, possibly or object that you might understand. In a way, I sort of was able to prove something that I had done before, but in a different way. And I thought it uh, you know, gave more insights and somehow it felt more surprising to me than what I had been able to prove before. They were very closely related, of course, but actually that particular angle was uh, very interesting. Um, in more technical terms, it was something about uh, operats and operats having homology stability. An operat is sort of uh, trying to understand multiplications and actually families of multiplications. And then these families have to be um, compatible with each other, like, for example, you know, want to have some sort of associativity. Uh, and uh, these compatibilities of these different families of multiplications you put together in something that's called an operat. And operat has been very um, powerful, especially in the area of algebraic topology, when you try to understand, uh, say, loop spaces, which themselves are very interesting and important. And what is the particular essence here was that uh, though you expected only something that would be maybe a, a double loop space uh, coming out of this uh, operat, um, the way it was formulated, it had this uh, homology stability, um, it became immediately something where you would get infinitely many loops, um, if that makes sense. These are all infinite dimensional spaces, but uh, infinite dimensional loops just meant also that there was uh, compatibility of multiplications up to any order which is uh, quite important in algebraic topology. And then you're effectively working with um, spectra, which maybe if you compare to the world of groups, it's sort of the abelian groups uh, within the mess or the big C of all groups. And so you know uh, much more about uh, that subset of uh, objects. Often my uh, sort of, uh, yeah, when I feel I have really understood something that uh, happens uh, you know, late at night when uh, I'm by myself and have time to think about it without a deadline and, and without somebody saying yeah, either you know, there has to be supper or a lecture or whatever. So that is actually uh, often when I, you know, my mind is the freest and I, I can get to that point. But then I tend to just say, okay, enough for tonight, I go to bed and hopefully <laughs> the serum still stands uh, the next morning and, and goes through it more carefully and uh, yeah. But uh, it also gives me a little bit of time to enjoy uh, my breakthrough. <laughs>